Hi, in this video, we're going to create a, a new Laravel app that will use Inertia.js and Vue.js. So let's begin. And the first step, it will be creating a new Laravel project. So I'm going to cre create this project using Composer, create a project command and folder with my project will be named Inertia Vue Laravel. So now let's wait until project will be created and I will open my project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so as you can see, I opened my project in Visual Studio Code and now we need to install all dependencies and configure Inertia.js. So first let's install Composer package. And also we need open resources folder and go to the views and rename this file to app.blade.php and copy this code. You can also copy this code from the official documentation. Now let me show you where you can copy this. So I'm going to open documentation now in browser. So yeah, you go to the official documentation and here you can copy this root template and this is in the server side section. Okay, now let's install everything that we need for the clean side. And the first step is also to install all dependencies that we need. So we're going to install Inertia.js. Oh, I see I type it here as well, but I'm going to use view 3 and yeah. Okay, so now let's type this command in our text terminal test and also we're going to install Laravel mix to compile all CSS and JS files with webpack. Okay, so as you can see Inertia.js is installed and now let's install Laravel mix and also let's create a, a webpack mix file. So let's go to the root folder and create a new file webpack mix.js and you will need to paste this code. Uh, the next step is also copy this code. You can find also this code in the official documentation. So uh, let me show you this. So you go to the clean side installation and you need to copy this code also there is instructions how you can install for react or svelte or view okay and yeah so now let's open app.js file and as you can see laravel mix is successfully installed so let's go to the js folder and test this code and also we need to delete this bootstrap.js so i think that i installed everything that i need now let's go back to the official documentation because i remember that we need to create a, a new middleware. So as you can see, here is this command pitch partisan inertia middleware. So let's open Visual Studio Code and paste this command and it will generate a middleware for inertia JS. And now let's go to the kernel.php. Let's go to the web middleware groups. And from the documentation, we will need to copy this line. We will need to add this middleware that we just generated and Okay, save it. And now we have everything that we need. And now let's type npx mix. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see now. Yeah, so as you can see, npx mix now is working. That's great. So that means that we can now create uh, our first view component and start working with this. So you need to create a pages folder in the JS folder. And here you will save components of your VGS app. So for example, I'm going to create a component for the home page and script setup. So I'm going to use script setup here and I'm going to type here if h1 inertia g.js plus vue.js. Okay, and now we have a question how we can render this component as a, a separate page. So let's go to the routes file routesweb.js and here we need to get inertia.js class that we will use to render this component. So by default, all components I say are saved in pages folder in JS folder. So I need just to type here home. So you type this and that means that it will uh, show this component where we're gonna go to the home page. Okay, so now let's start local server of the app. So I PHP artisan serve. Okay, let's copy local host address and open browser. And now let's go to this address. And as you can see, I have one trouble. Yes, yeah, so, okay, I understood. We have trouble with uh, Laravel mix. So now let's type npm run dev and yeah, so 
let's open the browser again and okay so file it to okay so yeah also we need to install vgs and vite.js this is the main things and dependencies that i forget to install so first let's install vite.js so we type this command and after that let's install vgs so type npm install view and yep and now also run npx mix npx mix and now i think everything will be fine so let's open browser again now let's refresh it and as you can see we have again some troubles with white manifest okay so i fixed it and you need also to install this dependency and also in webpack mix i forget to use here view function and also i changed my white config file and I forget to use here view plugin so i fix it and now everything works fine so if we open the browser and go here okay so if we refresh you will see that uh, everything will work fine and also i found here this solution so everything works fine so now we can try to make some example with in our components so let's close all these files uh, let's open just home.view okay and now let's uh create here function named increment let's make typical simple example and let's also create here a new variable named counter with value of zero and counter equals counter plus one and also this will return this value and let's create here a new button that will have click event and when we click on this button um, we're going to call increment function and let's type here click uh, yeah yeah maybe let's type here just counter and let's show uh, counter variable, counter variable I mean okay and now let's open browser again and check results so as you can see everything renders so if I click there is some trouble so let's open console uh, okay I see there is no any error so uh, looks like I have some trouble with my counter function but you know we can just just uh, remove this function and type here counter plus plus and as you can see it's not working so oh i understood i forget that we need to use uh, refs so yeah now let's import ref from the view and let's create here ref uh counter zero yeah ref zero and let's open browser and if i click on this button everything now works fine so as you can see i fixed it because i forget that if you're working with composition api you need to use refs if you want to render data okay so that's all for this short video thanks for watching and soon i'm gonna upload a full stack tutorial where we're gonna create a app that will work with inertia.js vgs and laravel and we're going to build a simple blog so thanks for watching